गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो वेलकम टू क्लास इलेवेंथ दिस इज माई फर्स्ट क्लास विद यू हेयर सो वील बी स्टार्टिंग विद अ वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक नंबर सिस्टम्स वॉट इज अ नंबर सिस्टम इट इज अ वे ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर्स ईच नंबर सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व डेफिनेट सेट ऑफ डिजिट्स वाइल राइटिंग अ नंबर विच इज नोन एज द बेस ऑफ द नंबर सिस्टम देर आर फोर नंबर सिस्टम्स The first is the decimal number system. It consists of digits from zero to nine. Since it has ten digits, so the base of decimal number system is ten. The second type of number system is binary number system. There was a very great mathematician, Dr. John von Neumann, who developed this concept of binary numbers. A number system that uses only two types of digits, that is zero and one, to represent a number. is known as binary number system hence the base of binary number system is 2 the third type is octal the base of octal number system is 8 it involves eight type of digits that is from 0 to 7 the next type of number system is hexadecimal number system we all know that hexa means 6 and decimal means 10 so a hexadecimal number system represents numbers with base 16 and it uses the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then letters from a to f okay as you can see in the following table decimal number 10 is represented by capital a in hexadecimal system similarly 11 is represented by b 12 is represented by c 13 is represented by d 14 is represented by e and 15 is represented by f the rest of the decimal numbers from 0 to 9 are represented by the same number in hexadecimal system so we'll be learning about the conversions from one number system to another number system in this chapter some of the conversions you must have done in class 7th and 8th we'll be revising them here the first type of conversion is decimal to binary conversion to convert a number from decimal to binary we need to perform the following steps first of all we have to divide the decimal number by 2 which is the base of the binary number and we have to obtain the quotient and remainder we have to divide the quotient by 2 again and again to obtain the next quotient and remainder we have to repeat the steps unless the quotient becomes zero finally the remainder values will be written from bottom to top to get the equivalent binary number see this example over here we have taken this example 25 25 base 10 this is how it is written this is the decimal number we have to convert it into its equivalent binary so divide this 25 by 2 the quotient is written over here the remainder is written over here when 25 is divided by 2 the quotient is 12 and the remainder is 1 again divide 25 by 2 we get the quotient 6 and the remainder 0 Again divided by two, quotient is three, remainder is zero. Again divided by two, quotient is one, remainder is one. Again divide one by two, we get the quotient as zero and the remainder as one. Since the quotient is zero, we will stop over here, and then we will draw a an arrow from bottom to top in the remainder values, and this will be the equivalent of twenty-five. That is one one zero zero one. This is the binary value of 25 base 10 this is how it is done see the next example 564 base 10 have a look every time it is divided by 2 and the quotient values are written here and the remainder values are written here we divide the quotient by 2 till we get a zero in the last okay and then the remainder values are written from bottom to top this is the equivalent binary equivalent of 564 base 10 now the decimal number can also have a fractional part as given in this example 85.27 see this is the whole number part and 0.27 is the fractional part so we have to separate them first 85 is to be converted into binary in the similar way in which we have done in the previous example but the decimal part the fractional part this does not have to be divided rather it has to be multiplied and we have to separate the carry part that means the part which is 
before the decimal and we have to write it separately. See how it is done. It is 0 0.27 here the fractional part multiplied by 2 you get 0 0.54. The, fra the real number part is 0 we have to write it under the heading carry separately. Then this 0 0.54 is to be multiplied again with 2 we get 1.08. Then 1 is to be written over here. Then only 0 0.08 is to be multiplied with 2. We get 0 0.16. Then the carry part is 0. Again multiplied 0 0.16 by 2, we get 0 0.32, we get 0 here. 0 0.32 multiplied by 2, we get 0 0.64 and the carry part is 0. 0 0.64 multiplied by 2, we get 1.28, carry part is 1. Multiply 0.28 by 2, we get 0 0.56, again it is 0. Again multiply 0 0.56 by 2, we get 1.12, carry is 1. See, 0 0.54 we were getting here, 0 0.56 we are getting here. That means it has started repeating. Unless and until we get the value of fractional part as 0, we have to repeat. But in this case, we are not getting the value of the fractional part as 0. So, we will stop over here. Okay. And then for the carry part, we have to write from bottom to top. See in this part, real part we have to write from bottom to top. Here we have to write from top to bottom. Okay. So, the answer will be 85.27 base 10 equals to first write this 1010101. 0 0.01000101. Have you understood? You have to write approx here because we are not getting 0 as the fractional part here. Have you understood children? Take one more example. 0 0.95 base 10 to be converted into base 2. See how we are doing. I hope seeing at the second example it is clear that we have to multiply the fractional part by 2 till we get the value 0 or if we are not getting the value till the values are repeated. In the second example 1.60 has started to be repeating here. So we are stopping over here. So the answer will be 0 0.1111001 base 2. We come over to the next conversion binary to decimal. That is the opposite of decimal to binary. See, we have taken the same binary number 110101 base 2 and we are converting it into a decimal equivalent. So, what do we do? First, we write this binary number. Then, starting from the right, we write the number of digits starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Since there are 6 digits, the numbers will start from 0 till 5. Okay. Then, wherever there is a 1, we will write 1 into 2 raised to the power the number of digit. Whenever there is a 0, we will write 0 into 2 raised to the power the number of digits and add all these terms. See how we are doing. 1 into 2 raised to the power 5 plus 1 into 2 raised to the power 4 plus 0 into 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 raised to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to the power 0. And then we are adding all these terms. Whenever there is a power 0, that means the value is 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1. Now, find out 2 raised to power 5 is 32. 32 into 1 is 32. 2 raised to power 4 is 16. 16 into 1 is 16. This is 0. 0 into 8, 0. 1 into 4 is 4. This is 0 and this is 1. Now, add all this, we get 53 base 10. Look at the first example of decimal to binary. What we were doing there? We were dividing. Isn't it? Here we are multiplying. It is a little opposite to it. And this is how we do it. See the next example. Here there are 10 digits. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Base 2. Isn't it? So, on top of it we will write numbers from 0 to 9. Always it will start from 0. Okay. And similarly start writing. 1 into 2 raised to power 9 plus 0 into 2 raised to power 8 plus 0 into 2 raised to power 7 plus 0 into 2 raised to power 6 and so on. And then add all these terms, we get 564 base 10. This is the decimal equivalent. But we can also have fractional binary numbers like this. When we have fractional binary numbers, we separate the real part and the fractional part. The real part has to be written like this. 
10101 and on top of it we'll write from right to left we'll write the digit number from 0 1 2 3 4 like this but on the right hand side of the decimal point we'll start from 1 and we'll write 1 2 3 4 and so on is it clear and then while doing this we'll write 1 into 2 raised to power 4 till here till here it is the same as in the previous question but here it will be 1 into 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to power minus 3. For the right of the decimal point, we will write 2 raised to power minus and the position number of the variable of the value there. Understood? So 2 raised to power minus 1 means 1 upon 2. 2 raised to power minus 2 means 1 upon 4. Here it is 0 because it is multiplied by 0. And this is 1 upon 8. When we add all this, we get the answer 21.625 base 10. So whenever there is a fractional part in the binary, in the decimal equivalent also there will be a fractional part. So these are the two conversions which I have done in this video. I hope that all of you have understood. Go through them again and do as many questions from the book as possible. I will also give you an assignment after this which I expect all of you to do. Thank you class.